In this and the following videos, you will learn how to solve higher order homogeneous linear difference equation. So the first step is that we need to convert the difference equation into its characteristic polynomial equation. So start with the first example, xn which is equals to 1.55x n minus 1, all right? Um, xn depends on the periods one term, xn minus 1. We will uh, convert, we change this xn minus 1 term into 1, all right? And then we will keep the 1.55, so they multiplied by each other. And then we will change the next term to be lambda. So that is why the characteristics polynomial is lambda, which is equal to 1.55. And then we will go to the next example, f n is f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2. All right. So uh, the smallest term, which is f n minus 2, will be changed to 1. And then your next term will be changed to lambda. And then the third term, so the largest term, will be changed to lambda square. In the third example, we have Zn, which is equal to Zn minus 1 plus 5Zn minus 2 plus 3Zn minus 3. All right, so your smallest term here, Zn minus 3, will be changed to 1. All right, so you keep the plus 3 here. And then you, you keep the 5, and then your Zn minus 2 will be changed to lambda. And then your Zn minus 1 will be changed to lambda square. And then your Zn this time will be changed to lambda cubed. That's why you will have this one. All right. And then the fourth example will be a little bit tricky. So your Pn is equal to uh, 5Pn minus 2. We know that this is a second order difference equation. So uh, something is missing here. Uh, is 0 multiplied by Pn minus 1 plus that one. So this term is missing here. And um, we start with the smallest term, we change it to 1. Then you will have a 5. All right. And then this term, you can imagine that you will have a 0 multiplied by lambda here. And then, of course, this would be your lambda square. So this is lambda square, which is equal to 5. And hence, you get this characteristics polynomial. And then um, you get in the fifth example, so ym plus 0 multiplied by ym plus minus 1 plus 4ym minus 2, which is 0. You will convert this term into 1, that's why you will get a 4 here. And then this term is still 0, but you know that it's 0 multiplied by lambda, right? And then this term will be lambda squared. That is why you will have lambda squared plus 4, which is equal to 0 as the characteristics polynomial. And then for the final example, you will have xm plus 3 plus 0, xm plus 2 minus 7, xm plus 1 plus 6, xn, which is 0. So you know that you will always convert the smallest term into 1. So you will keep the 6. And then this term will become a lambda. Then we will get a minus 7 lambda. And then there is no lambda square term here, but you will got a lambda cube term. All right. So uh, I hope that from these examples, you will understand what a characteristics polynomial is. Since that in this course, we will try to avoid um, a mathematical approach, a lot of equations. I hope examples can help you to, to understand how to work on the first step.